Hey everyone, Mr. Orton here. Uh, today we're going to look at composing and decomposing angles. So remember, composing is putting things together, and decomposing is pulling things apart. All right. Um, so we're going to be composing angles to form new angles. Learn how to find the measurement of new angles using two different measurements. Decomposing angles to find the measurement of each angle in a model. Okay. Uh, so we're going to look here. So I can use two angles to form or compose a new angle. Okay, so this symbol right here, this is where I want you to look at right here, this first thing. I know there's a lot else on the slide, but look right here first. This arrow is pointing at this. This symbol, even though it looks like the greater than less than symbol, because there's a straight line here and then another straight line like that, that actually tells us that this is an angle. This is the symbol for angle and um, it's so that we don't have to write out the word angle every single time okay so now we got JKL but why are we throwing letters in here well the reason we use letters is this so if you see this over here this KJL you'll see it's written as JKL the reason is, is because that middle letter is always kind of the middle or the vertex that's why it's this ray right here is J and then the vertex is the K and then the L is this right that's why it's written as JKL that way we don't just have to say hey uh, we're kind of looking at this angle right over here well it could be confusing that's why they call them angle JKL this whole thing so if we look at both of these we can see okay so this whole angle of J K and L and you can call them whatever letters you want this angle right here but now we're going to say, hey, we know this is angle JKL is 30 degrees. Also, this angle over here, L, angle LKM, is also 30 degrees. So we got 30 degrees here, 30 degrees here. We can combine these two angles to form a new one. And this is how we do it. Uh, you can see JKL is right here. And angle LKM is right here. So we've now put one on top of the other. And what is the measurement of this new angle? We have a, we remember JKL up here is 30. And L, angle LKM, this one right here, is also 30. So what is the measurement of this angle right here? Well, if we do 30 plus 30, we get 60. That's, that's what we're, that's, whoops, sorry. That's what this angle is right here. Put them together, 60 degree angle. So we can kind of do that same idea. This is putting angles together. So if we have angle right up here, look here, right here, angle GHI is 30 degrees. So if we look at this, so GHI, 30 degrees. Then we got this other angle over here. IHJ is 50 degrees. So we got IHJ. We put these two angles together. We got 30 degree. We got a 30 degree angle here, 50 degree angle there. What's the measure of this whole thing, of GHJ, of this whole thing? Well, if we add up 50 plus 30, 80 degrees. Okay, last one. So we got this angle. JKL is 70 degrees. So if we look at JKL, 70 degrees. And we got another angle. Angle LKM is 50 degrees. So we look at LKM, 50 degrees. Well, what is the measurement then if we put these two angles together? JKM, well, 50 degrees plus 70 degrees. Well, I know five plus 7 is 12, but we're adding 70 plus 50, so that would be 120. This is a 120 degree angle. Uh, here's some ones that you can kind of take a look at. Uh, we're only in, I'm only going to do uh, uh, one of them, so right here. So what is the measure of this angle? What is the measurement of angle ABD? So we look at ABD, 45 
plus 80. Well, I know 40 plus 80 is 120, but we got 45. So that'd be 125 degree angle. So this whole thing right here, this right here, 125 if we add those up together. This one's pretty interesting. Um, we'll actually come back to this one later, but we can tell this is 90 degrees. This is kind of missing number. We'll come back to that one. Uh, this right here, what is the measurement of angle F, F, E, I? Well, right here, we got these two numbers right here. We can add them up. 80 plus 60 is 140, but we got 85, so we throw in another 5. This entire angle right here is 145 degrees. So if you go to compose angles, all that you're doing with them is adding those two angles up. Okay, so now that's composing. So if you're putting them together, you're adding. Now we got decomposing, which is pulling apart. That means we're, we'll be subtracting. So we can decompose angles into two or more parts. The sum of the parts will equal the measurement of the whole angle. You'll need to reflect on how to find the missing piece when given the amount of the whole and only one of the parts. Okay, uh, this will make more sense when we get going. Okay, here we go. So I can decompose angles to find missing measurements. So we got angle MNP equals 70 degrees. And then we got angle MNO equals 40 degrees. So how can I find the measurement of angle OMP with information that we've been given? Okay, so let's take a look at this. So we know that angle MNP, this whole thing, so that's why they got it written here, this whole thing is 70 degrees. Then you got angle MNO right here. MNO is 40 degrees. Well, what is the measurement of angle O? N P. If this whole thing is 70, this one is 40, this is where subtraction comes in. If you do 70 minus 40, that tells us that this angle right here is 30 degrees. Let's take a look at another one. Okay, I can decompose angles to find missing measurements. Okay, so this whole thing, angle MKJ equals 115 degrees. So we go MKJ. That whole thing right here is 115 degrees. This angle right here, LKN is 45. So LKN is 45 degrees. Well, how can we figure out what this is? It's the same thing. We're subtracting 115 minus 45 to tell us what this angle is. And I know that if, if I do 70 plus 40, that gives me 110, and if I add five more, that's uh, that would be, sorry, so uh, if we have 70, 70, I know that seven plus four is 11, which would be these two right here. So basically 115 minus 45 would be 70 degrees. So this angle right here is 70 degrees. And that's what it's asking. What is the measurement of angle L, K, J? 115, we subtract 45. That would tell us that this is 70 degrees. All right, so uh, this one here, I can decompose angles to find missing measurements. So if we look here, this one's kind of tricky. This is the one that I kind of mentioned we'd come back to. So what is the angle? First of all, of QRT. If we got this little box here, that should quickly tell us that this whole thing, and I can't type on here sadly, but this whole thing from Q to T, or angle QRT, this whole thing is 90 degrees. This angle right here, SRT, this small one is 25. So what is this angle of QRT? T. Well, 90 degrees. Okay, so this is a couple of quick ones that we'll take a look at. So right here, so this whole thing, angle A, B, D is 120 degrees. Angle A, B, C is 90 degrees. And this is asking, what is the measurement of angle C, B, D? Well, to figure that out, we take the whole thing, 120, and subtract it from 90, and that would be 30, so this angle right here is 30 degrees. 
Let's take a look at this one. This one is pretty interesting because this little box right here tells us that this is a right angle. So M, J, L. The whole thing is 90 degrees. K, J, L is 35 degrees. What is the measurement of angle M, J, K? Well, if we take 90 and we subtract 35, we would get a 55 degree angle. So this angle is 55 degrees. All right, last one, let's look here. So what is the measurement of angle F, E, H? Well, this whole thing, this whole thing, you can see the line right here, is 135 degrees. And angle H, E, I is 80. So if we do 135 minus 80, that would leave us with how much? You know, that's the big thing, is subtracting. It would leave us with 55. So this angle right here is a 55 degree angle. Okay, so now let's take a look at what you're gonna be working on today. Okay, so this is gonna be um, additive, just means um, composing, but we're gonna be composing and decomposing angles. Okay, so uh, we're gonna look at a couple of these together. Angle ABC is 130 degrees, so A, B, C, 130 degrees. What is the measurement of the missing angle? So right here's the missing angle, and you can click on the box to type your answer. Well, the whole thing, this whole thing is 130, part of it is 60. If we do 130 minus 60, that will tell us what this is, and that is 70 degrees. And they got the little degree symbol for you right there. So you can go to the next one. So use the measurements below to find the measure of angle I, J, L. Well, this one, we got this angle that's 110 degrees, and we got this one that's 35 degrees. So if we put both of them together, kind of got a double click here, that would be 145 degrees. And so that's what you're going to do with these next four. Uh, reach out to your teacher if you have any questions.